Yeah, I, I would I would say it's a ministry. I think um, you know playing music is is such a personal thing and such a such a passionate um, experience. Of course, you know the songs that we write and uh, and the influence of all the members of the band would uh, would I tell you that it's a, a ministry, but also in a in a manner of when when you take a look at all the music that's out there today, even if we can serve as a good example as opposed to you know, what, what kids or even adults see in most um, uh, musicians and live in uh, dysfunctional lifestyles. We're trying to get out there in coffee houses and everything and hoping that some of the things that we sing and play can touch people. Whether it's through a spoken word or, uh, you know, a lyrics to the songs we write, they're, they are with a motive to minister, you know, I think that's really what we are focusing on. It's kind of a, you know, a twofold thing. I mean, it's something that's, that's actually pretty cool that we can do something that we love, you know, playing our instruments and singing songs and stuff and, uh, and do it as a ministry, you know? So I kind of I look at it as a twofold thing. <laughs> about uh, the change that's taken place in my life, uh, having come to know the Lord, and wanting to share that with others, um, not only through talking to people, but also uh, through something that's important to me and, and is passionate to me, which is music. Uh, the path that, that brought me into, the, in, into this project, um, it's kind of a funny story. Just out of the blue, I get a phone call and say, you know, hey Joe, are you still playing drums? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've known, uh, Larry, our guitar player, for quite some time, and uh, Larry called me up one day, and you know we've played many times in the, together in the past. He called me up one day, telling me about a band that he was a, a part of. Just that he was kind of excited, and Larry was saying, "Oh, we're practicing at this house. You know, uh, it's kind of hard to get to, so you know, follow me in." And um, when I followed him in, <laughs> lo and behold, I followed him to uh, uh, a friend of mine's house that I've known for years and years and years and years and years, and. Uh, Knew that he played keyboards. That's John uh, Gamble, and I, I just—we um, had never played together, and never really talked about music a whole lot. But it was uh, kind of a unique uh, journey there. So that's kind of my path. There. by time certain members left and certain people came in and, and pretty much that's how we ended up with the lineup we have as far as this band goes. If I can, uh, if I can, uh, if I can put it in a nutshell. started and uh, my dad kind of dragged me along and um, my dad's the bass player John so I started I went to a couple practices and I really enjoyed it and from then on I've been part of it my old man is another child that's grown old if dreams were thunder and it was desire it's only how a long time ago make me an angel. I don't think it's a particular audience. I mean I think the you know the, the music really kind of rocks it kind of you know it's, it's it's blues, it's rock, it's a little bit of everything. Um, 
I really think that you know just about anybody can really enjoy the music. Anybody from a teen to you know an, an older person. I think with an audience that we might be targeting, uh, it, it's kind of strange because I've noticed something. Of course, we're doing uh, blues, some classic rock sounding things. But one thing that I've noticed with music uh, lately, I know that there are a lot of kids that are getting into the older music. Living like I had been. Standing. Standing on shaky ground. I, I swear I was born tapping my, my foot or snapping my fingers or something. I, I know one thing that I've been playing music for, I don't know, since, since I was a kid, you know, the 30, 35 years. And this is the, uh, the most talented group of musicians that I've uh, been associated with. He goes to church all of his life. Well, my musical influences are kind of all over the road. The guys like Buddy Guy and uh, Muddy Waters and uh, Rush and, and Neil Peart. Jimi Hendrix, Allman Brothers. Uh, I love guitar, guitar work. I mean, Greg Allman's a great keyboard player, but it was really the guitar playing and, and the structure of the music and the jamming and the, and the passion and the motion that came out of um, uh, the early Allman Brothers band and, and is there to this day. Susan Tedeschi, I sing a lot of her songs, I really like her style and I've learned a lot from um, listening to her. Pull up my boots and move on in this land I'm 